So these are seven, seven, sevens, which gives you 21 total reps, which is why these are called 21s. Hey, what's up guys? Gary Walker here with liveanabolic.com and welcome back for another video. All right, in this video, I'm gonna tell you how to blow your arms up, man, all right? Here's the cool thing. How to do it at home using nothing but dumbbells. So one thing I really wanna focus on with this is we're gonna be doing something called antagonist sets. They're antagonist supersets. So I'll break that down here in a minute. But first, if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel. Also make sure you click on that bell icon. That way you get notified every time we upload a new video. All right, now arms are one of the most attractive body parts on a man's body because they stand out no matter what you're wearing, all right? So superhero arms, you grow up as a little kid seeing these dudes with massive arms. So one thing I really want to focus on is building triceps. We're gonna do both, but here's the thing, the triceps, the back part of the arm, the meaty part, that makes up two thirds of your overall arm size. So we really want to prioritize those. That being said, we are still gonna do the biceps because the biceps, although they don't add a whole lot of size, they add a cool aesthetic appeal. It's the ball right here on the inside. So that's very noticeable for a lot of people. All right, basically this is how we're gonna structure an antagonist superset. Antagonist means we're gonna do a tricep exercise, immediately go straight into a bicep exercise. And we're supersetting those two together. All that means is there's gonna be no rest between those. I'm gonna give you three exercises for the triceps, three exercises for the biceps. The goal with these is to do three sets of each exercise and shoot for about 10 to 12 reps. Here's what's gonna happen. That is hypertrophy rep range, meaning muscle growth rep range. The basic thing that you're gonna get out of this is a ton of blood flow and lactic acid, man. So they're gonna burn, all right? So we're gonna do one exercise for triceps, go straight into the biceps exercise, you're gonna wanna rest about 60 seconds after the first superset. Then you're gonna go back to the same tricep exercise. Immediately, once you've done your 10 to 12 reps, go back into that bicep exercise again. So you're doing three sets of those with the 60 second rest period between those, all right? After you do your third set of both, then you're gonna go into your second superset. And then we're gonna do the same cadence there. And then you're gonna do your third superset. So that's how the structure is gonna be with these. So let me show you the exercises we're gonna be focusing on. First one, again, is a tricep exercise. You can do these a couple different ways. So this is gonna be a overhead tricep extension. You can do one single dumbbell, stretch it over your head just like this, and extend back to the top. Nice stretch at the bottom nice extension at the top. So basically you want a full stretch in the triceps, full contraction at the top. The reason I'm giving you two options is because it, you're doing these at home, you may not have access to a lot of heavy weight. If you have a heavy dumbbell, then just go this route. If you have a light dumbbell, then go one at a time, all the way back, all the way up, all the way down, all the way up. So again, you're gonna be shooting for 10 to 12 reps when you do this. So this is gonna be your overhead tricep extension. So basically what you're gonna superset this tricep exercise with is a standard dumbbell curl. So basically you're starting with your palms facing each other. You're gonna rotate those up and out on the way up. Nice and slow and under control. Here's the key when you're working your biceps. You want your chest to be out nice and tall and your shoulders back. Typically what happens when weight gets really heavy, you'll notice people bringing their shoulders forward that's cheating the movement. You actually want those back. Keep those back to get that full range of motion when you're doing these. Let me show you about three more of these. Two and three. Here's the other thing that you can do if you're using the light weight. If you're doing one out of, at a time using heavy weight, it's really gonna work with this antagonist superset because you're not getting a whole lot of rest in between these exercises, which is the goal with a superset. You don't want a lot of rest between. If you have light weights, for instance, these are fairly light, 
and you saw me do one at a time, you can also go two straight up, okay? You can do two light dumbbells at a time. Again, depends on what you have access to at home. Once you finish those 10 to 12, you're gonna go straight back into the 10 to 12 reps here. At the end of the 10 to 12 reps, like I said, rest your 60 seconds, and then you will repeat this for two more sets. All right, now we're gonna get into the second set of super sets. First one we're gonna do, we're gonna lie on the floor, and these are going to be, basically these are skull crushers. If you have access to a bench, you can do them on a bench, but there's no need if you're at home and don't have one. Typically what you're doing when you're doing a skull crusher is you wanna start with your hands behind your head here. This is gonna give you a stretch in your triceps as opposed to having these directly overhead. I'm basically resting in this position, all right? So I wanna get the stretch started here. Bring these down nice and slow, contract on the way up. Nice and slow, contract on the way up. One thing you'll notice here, this is a safe movement being on the floor. You have a limited range of motion here when you're doing this. So again, if you have access to a bench or even an exercise ball, to where you're lying on your back, you can get a deeper stretch on the bottom position here. Right here, if you're not on the floor, if you're on a bench, you can bring these down as deep as possible to feel a really good stretch in your triceps before going back up to the top. But the other thing to really remember is when you come back up to the top, you're keeping your hands behind your head as opposed to stretching and then coming back overhead. You don't want to stretch and then come back. You don't want to bring your elbows forward at all. Keep those back here to keep the tension in the triceps throughout this full range of motion. So again, 10 to 12 reps with this exercise. And then for the biceps, we're gonna go into a dumbbell 21. 21's really effective exercise. Basically all you're doing here, we're bringing the dumbbells up. It's a half rep. So we're gonna go from the top, halfway down, all the way up, halfway down, all the way up. You're doing that for seven reps. So seven in this position, then you're gonna go all the way down, halfway up, all the way, halfway. So that's seven more there. And then you're gonna do seven full range of motion reps, all the way down, all the way up. Two, three. So these are seven, seven, sevens, which gives you 21 total reps which is why these are called 21s. So again, what you will do is after you've done your 21s, put the weight down, put the weight down, shake your arms out for about 60 seconds, all right? Go right back into your dumbbell skull crushers, another 10 to 12, right back up into more 21s. So you're doing three sets of both of those. Once you've done your second superset, then we're gonna get into the last superset. So the next tricep exercise we're gonna be doing is a dumbbell tricep kickback. Main thing here, you're gonna bend forward to keep your lower back safe. Don't just bend over. You wanna do what's called a hip hinge. Get your butt all the way back, 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 back. That's gonna allow you to have a safer and more supported lumbar spine, all right? So hip hinge here. Elbows up behind your back, nice contraction at the top. Full stretch, nice contraction, full stretch, nice contraction, just like that. Four, you'll notice my elbows are staying up, they're not dropping forward. Keep the elbows up behind your back and get that full contraction at the top. All right, so here's the bicep exercise. The antagonist superset to the kickback is gonna be a hammer curl. Basically on the hammer curl, again at the bottom, palms are facing each other. They're gonna maintain that same hand position. Face each other all the way up. See the side, again, chest out, shoulders back. Stretch at the bottom, contract at the top. Here's the difference with this hand grip as opposed to rotating. When you rotate out, you're working more of the short head of the bicep, the little ball on the inside. When you have more of a neutral grip or hammer grip, then we're basically working the long head and something called the brachialis 
underneath the long head of the bicep, which is gonna give you a bigger bicep peak, which is why we're adding this workout or this exercise to the workout. All right, so again, three sets here, 10 to 12 reps of each with the 60 second rest period. So you're gonna be doing nine total sets for triceps, nine total sets for biceps. So that is optimal amount of sets, optimal volume for muscle growth. So you can do this, as you can see at home, on the floor, nothing with a pair of light dumbbells, get great benefits, all right? Here's the other thing. If you're wanting to really focus on building bigger arms, go ahead and do this routine twice a week. So add this twice a week, rest about two days in between, Monday, Thursday, something like that. Monday, Friday, Tuesday, Friday, Tuesday, Saturday. So just schedule it a couple times a week. Adequate volume, which is gonna help you really pack on a lot of good size. Last thing, if your goal is size though, is you gotta make sure you're eating for growth. So don't eat like a bird, man. Eat a lot of food, eat a lot of good protein. Do this twice a week. You're gonna get big arms. You're gonna notice your shirts filling out quickly and you're gonna start getting compliments, man. But that's all I got for this video. So if you have any questions at all, comment below and let me know. One more time, if you haven't already subscribed, man, please subscribe to our channel. And again, that's all that I got. Get busy, get after it, and God bless.